What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an unboxing video. I'm super excited because I'm going to be unboxing Geek Fuel EXP Volume 1. It is a big box. I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. So even though Volume 2 just came out, the reason I'm getting Volume 1 is A, I didn't get it yet, I didn't get it whenever it first came out months ago, and 2, I just had to pay shipping for it. I think it is only $15 shipping, and there is a lot in it. Like I showed you, it's a pretty big box. So to me, it's well worth it. $15, you're guaranteed a shirt, and the shirt's usually $15 to $20. So, so even if everything else in this box is garbage, I know I'm going to get a pretty good shirt out of it. So that's why I went ahead and bought it. Okay, so let's open this up and see what is inside. So the first thing we have, I like these enamel pins. Planet of the Apes, these are the Planet of the Apes pins, and there is one that is rare, let me see which ones I have. Uh, I have Dr. Cornelius and Dr. Zaius. The rare one, there's only 500, and it's George Taylor, but in a spacesuit. So that would have been a pretty cool one to get, but... I'm a huge fan of Planet of the Apes. I don't have anything in my collection. Two pretty good pins. And you got the uh, ANSA. I might be mispronouncing that. Basically NASA that is in the movies. Get a pin for that too, which nobody usually men mentions that pin. So pretty good. I do like that. Next up, I'm assuming Bob's Burgers. Burger of the day. Let's see what this is. I'm honestly not a fan of the show. I don't watch the show, but uh, we are going to see what this is. Okay, so we got an apron with all of the characters from the show on it. Honestly, that's pretty cool. It is a higher quality one. I thought it was going to be cheap stuff in this, but this is pretty good quality. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's probably not something I'm going to use myself. Uh, just because I don't use aprons, but, but that is a pretty cool item, and it is pretty good quality, so to me, I think that's pretty good for it being in the box. Next up is this merch. Um, this might be the shirt. Yes, this is the shirt. Okay, this shirt looks amazing. Deadpool. Let me show the print there for you guys. That looks amazing. It's like the uh, Brady Bunch. A uh, little Deadpool on the back here, too. Can't really see it, but... Honestly, that looks pretty good. Again, high quality. I don't know why, but their shirts are so high quality. Let's just go and try this on, see, and make sure it fits. Okay, so that is the shirt. That fits amazing. It's such good quality. It's very snug, and it is gray. I know it looks black on the camera here, but it is gray. Normally, whenever you get shirts from subscription boxes, from what I see anyways, most of the time they are black, so the fact that this is gray, it just makes it so much more better for me. Brady Bunch, Deadpool shirt. Definitely a win, definitely worth the 15 box. Even if this was the only thing I got in it, this was well worth it. So next up, we have a Game of Thrones figure. I believe this one here, everybody got the same one. I know it shows them on the back here, but I think everybody got the same one. I think it's a special edition. Now a trigger warning, I'm not a fan of the show, but let's check it out and see what is inside. Okay, so it's in this bag here. I was not expecting it to be in a bag. That looks glow in the dark. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Like I said, I don't follow the show. I don't watch the show. Comment down below what it is just so I know, but it is pretty cool. It looks like it's high quality. There's a lot of detail on it. The eyes are painted. It's all painted, but it does look glow in the dark. I will let you guys know, but to me, it looks glow in the dark. Game of Thrones on the bottom. That's pretty cool. It's a small figure, as you can see. But that is pretty cool. Even though I don't follow Game of Thrones, I do like that figure. Okay, so next up is a Marvel item. This looks like it's going to be amazing. Uh, it looks like Wolverine on the cover of the box. Now, I know that probably doesn't mean it's going to be Wolverine, but let's just see what it is. I am so happy because I have been looking for stuff like this for so long. It is a canvas print. I have been looking for canvas print for so long. This is a pretty cool one. Wolverine, I think this is the first comic book of him. So cool, I do love that. Definitely going to be hanging that up in my room. Or maybe just setting it up on display. But that is amazing. That is high quality as well. That is definitely worth it. Definitely going to be putting this in my room and adding this to my collection. 
That is amazing. I'm just so happy I got that. So freaking cool. Next up, looks like it could possibly be a knockoff item. It says Cowabunga Pizza Cutter, and it's in the fonts of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I don't think it's an actual Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles item. I think it's just gonna be a knockoff, but let's see what it is. The cool thing is the box looks just like a slice of pizza, and let's see when we open it up in here. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Look at that pizza cutter. Now, I don't know if this is something that you can actually use, I'm gonna check it out here. Okay, so it is a big blade. It does look like you can use it. Something tells me these at times with your pizza are gonna get in a way, so I'm not a huge fan of that. The grip is pretty nice. I thought it was gonna be all hard plastic, but it is actually spongy, the grip part. That is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna use this kitchen gadget or not. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work properly. And the last item that is in today's box is a Lego Star Wars book. That is pretty good. I wasn't expecting a thick book like that. Uh, at least with my knowledge, I think this is a rare Lego, which I don't have any rare Legos. So I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to keep this book or if I'm going to gift it to somebody that likes Lego Star Wars. Uh, maybe one of my nieces or nephews, but pretty good book. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, is if it just tells you about everything, uh, which looks like it. it look, looks like it tells you everything about... Lego Star Wars. So it is a pretty interesting book. Like I said, I might just put this on my shelf or I might gift it to somebody that likes Lego Star Wars. So out of everything I got in Geek Fuel EXP Volume 1, I would say the shirt would be my favorite. I just love getting these shirts. I'm a huge fan of Deadpool. I like how it's a Brady Bunch concept. I do love that. I also love my pins. I've been collecting them a little bit. I don't have a big collection, but I do love them. I'm gonna keep them in the packaging. So to me, the fact that it could have got a rare one to me is so unique and that makes this so much more special. Love Planet of the Apes, and this is a great item to get. And the canvas print is so cool and unique. I didn't know they actually had canvas prints in subscription boxes. Something I've been looking for for quite a while. Not necessarily a Wolverine one, but it is a good one to put in my room and put in my collection, so I'm really happy for that. For the rest of the items, even though they are cool and unique, they're not necessarily for me. The figure, I just don't watch Game of Thrones. The pizza cutter is a cool kitchen gadget, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. And the apron, I'm not a fan of the show, so I'm probably not going to wear it. But since I just paid shipping for this box, only $15. To me, I definitely got a lot of stuff for what I paid for it, so I'm extremely happy. Thank you, Geek Fuel. So hopefully now that Volume 2 has released, hopefully I will get it whenever Volume 3 comes out, because they'll probably have the same deal where you just have to pay shipping for it. So I know you guys probably seen people unbox this box whenever it first came out about four months ago. I know I'm extremely late, but I did buy it. I did want to unbox it on my channel, and I hope you guys do enjoy watching them as well. But this is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.